if you're a little bit drunk and come home to your wife and she would ask you, have you been drinking? No, I've had black forest cut over. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's maybe a good excuse. Yeah. Yeah. We very often get, let's say, comments that, they, that say, why are you living in the UK? Because you're promoting all these German things. And is the UK better or is Germany better? Hello from England. Hello. As you can see, we are back in our kitchen. Yeah, and we brought a lot of stuff with us. Yeah, German products, apart from one product, that we can't really get here in the UK. Yeah, yeah. all which are very hard to get. Yeah, too expensive yes. then. And some of you might have watched a video from last year where we shared sweet stuff from Germany. <laughs> a lot of sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. And watching it, I have to laugh because you tried everything and it yeah. was... <laughs> I won't do that today. <laughs> no. And, well, what you can see here is just a tiny fraction. We actually... I think this time we brought a lot more. Yeah, the car was full. Yeah. The boot was filled with stuff and not only food, but um, things from a drugstore mm. and, yeah. In last week's video, I mentioned hairspray and yeah i wanted to show you what i brought from germany schwarzkopf taft classic and i feel a bit silly but i don't know this is just the one i really love and it's not particularly expensive but i can't find it here i tried so many hairsprays and for me the ones we can get here are too I don't know there's too much perfume in it this one isn't too strong well it's strength how would you say Stärke yeah strength <laughs> so, free yes it's a middle range strength yeah and that for me works perfectly so I just have to get that yeah so we've got a lot of bottles of hairspray and you won't use that. No, I'm not allowed to. I have to use the UK ones, which I'm fine with. Yeah, well, you, you really, you like them, so... Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Now you. Ah, yeah. As everyone knows, I'm a foodie. No <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what I brought with me is potato chips. Yes. Yeah? Or oh, crisps. Crisps. We, we, the stupid thing is, we German call them chips. Yeah. As you can see here. That's strange yeah. as well. And you can't get them in the UK. No, not uh, the, 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 the flavor. Yeah, yeah, you can get crisp, but not that flavor. That's a special flavor which I believe is unique in Germany. Everybody yeah. loves it. Yeah. yeah. And, but yeah, can't get it here. But the, uh. the thing is, yeah, really loves crisps yeah. and you love the ones you can get here. Yes, you love some and vinegar. Yeah, and I remember when we when we still lived in Germany, you actually bought the UK crisps. Yes. Because the kettle ones, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. When you when you're German and grow up with with this flavour, you just want it. Yes, it's a unique flavour. Yeah. And also this one. This is well, we pronounce it German, so Frit sticks. Yeah. Ungarisch. So like small potato sticks. Yeah. They are really good. The funny thing is, we sometimes buy like uh, the small sticks that are only salted and yeah. we get them at, is it Tesco? Yeah. yeah Tesco's and Sainsbury's. Yeah. And we really love them. Yeah. And yeah, we actually, we always have them here. Yeah. I've always loved them. And yeah, we brought just one bag, so... Yeah, and it's a paprika flavor, flavor again. Yes. Yeah. Actually the same as the crisps. Yes. Really, really good. Yeah, we just have to have it. Yeah. And this one is quite strange. These are just matches. And when I saw them, Welthölzer. Yeah. They've been around for as long as I can remember, actually. Yes, it's... Dates back to the time when uh, the German state had a monopoly on matches. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just 
like a childhood memory or a, a memory from yeah, my... Because you can get matches in the UK. <laughs> yes, of course. This is just, I had a a case. Yeah. That was when I when I got to know, when I met Jörg. So not a child childhood memory, but a memory from my, from being a teenager. So yeah, I had a case and that with the exact same design yeah. and it was quite unique. Yeah. And when I saw this, I just thought, we have to get the matches. Yeah, it's simply a cool design. Yeah, and well, they are just regular matches, nothing special. <laughs> and yeah. But you can't get Welthölzer. No, but well, maybe you can, yeah. but we haven't spotted them here. Um, should I continue yeah. with these ones? Yeah. So, I need to put on my glasses. So, there is a brand in um, Germany called Vileda that has been around since 1921. So, a hundred years now. Yes, a hundred oh. years. And they produce organic products for yeah, skin products, beauty, yeah. beauty things. Yeah. And they are really, really good. And yeah, we we bought two, let me see, shower gels. It says creamy body wash. And this one is for sensitive skin. This one just says refresh. And they are just lovely because they are organic. It's a very popular brand in Germany. Yeah. And I also bought a conditioner, yeah. air conditioner. Really, really good. We can highly recommend them. And and I brought something. Yeah. I just thought I have to show you because this is actually quite hilarious. These are all pucks. And yeah, I'm so sensitive to noise, aren't I? You are, yes. Very, very sensitive. Because I'm not snoring and she, no. she still has to use aura packs. Yeah, no, Jörg is not snoring at all. But I just, I need, I don't know, peace and quiet at night. I I just, I shouldn't hear a thing. Yeah. And yeah, that's really, really bad. Also, when I read or when I went to university, I used earplugs. Well, they are earplugs. And yeah, it's just a yeah. sensitive thing. And it's also a very old German brand. Yeah. yeah I think we found it in 1907. Yes, 1907. And I can open these ones. And they are actually, this is wax. It's yeah. wax. Yes. And they are wrapped in, this is cotton, isn't it? They are just yeah. wrapped in cotton. And underneath, you find the earplugs that are made from wax, and they are really good. I yeah. really love them. Yeah. I really prefer them. Yeah. And do you know, when we were in Germany, we saw a TV show, yeah. and they had a quiz. And one of the questions in the quiz was, uh, what was, let's say, what gave inspiration for the, let's say, the developer of Oropax? Seriously, I missed yes, that show. Yes. And it was quite interesting because, you know, it comes from, the, let's say, the Odyssey. Yeah. yeah when Odysseus uh -huh. yeah, had to fight the sirens. Yeah. And that's the idea because he would wax in the ears of his companions yeah, because he wanted to hear the sirens. So he got, let's say, fixed <laughs> to the mask and the others got wax in their ears so they couldn't hear the sirens and they could never were tempted to to roll through to the sirens. And that's the idea. Wax, <laughs> wax in your ears. Yeah? And that's how the guy who developed that thing, uh, the Europax, yeah, got his ideas from. Yeah, I, and I really have to say there are, there are plastic um, earplugs around on Yes, there. but these are natural wax. Yes, it's just really, really good. And, well, should I continue with that food. one because then we are done and can yep. focus on food do all the healthy stuff and i'll do all the <laughs> tasty stuff and this is a, a mint oil isn't it yes a mint oil. a mint oil japanese mint oil and from a brand called jhp rötler and i use that i i suffer from headaches quite 
yeah, I, I can really struggle in between. And I use this one and I just use it here on my forehead and here. But it can drive you mad, to be yeah, honest. Because it's, really, it's, it's, it's strong. It's strong. It, it's really strong. And sometimes... So the whole room smells like <laughs> mint. And sometimes when we go to bed and I have it here on my forehead and, and Jörg doesn't know. And while well, we say goodnight and we kiss and he says, oh my God, go away. Yeah. But it's really, really good. I love it. And I haven't really found it here. And no, there's something else. Tempos. You should do that. Yeah. I talk too yeah. much. Every every German knows tempos. Yeah. yeah. Um, because tempo is <clears throat> a German word for Kleenex. A, a tissue. A tissue. A tissue. Yeah. yeah. Because because I think that's one of the oldest brands, and so <laughs> nobody calls it a tissue. It's tempos. Yeah. yeah. So and it's simply. It's just this, just a tissue. It's I've just got a simple two. tissue. Yeah. Which you can lose to clean your nose. Yeah. Well, yeah. And the thing is, it's just, we found a good one, and I think we only found it like two years yeah. ago. In Little. Was it Little? Yeah, yes. It was Little. Yeah, you're right. So we found something similar here in Little. Because the other ones are so thin, the ones yeah. you get at Tesco. Yeah, they're very soft and thin, and when we do a blow, they're just done. <laughs> and okay, and tempos are really strong. They are really strong and just good, and I don't know, it's probably also a thing you grew up with. Yes. We grew up with it, and you somehow get attached to yeah. it. Um, yeah. yeah. So if you want to be an insider in Germany, yeah? And want to be really show something, yeah. <laughs> you never ask for a tissue. You can ask, "Can ich ein Tempotaschentuch haben?" Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. Because we just, yeah, we call them. I don't know. It's a brand, but but yeah. the brand has become the name. The name. Yeah. So that's really funny. Yeah. yeah. So ask for a Tempotaschentuch. Yes. Not for a tissue. Very true. And people are, will be happy. Very true. Now, uh, food stuff, yes. yes. <laughs> what do we start? Ah, yeah. Haribo. Yeah. Although you can yeah. get that. Here. You can get that here. Yeah. But you can get the gummy bears, you can get uh, other stuff. But I never have seen, let's say, the colas. Happy cola. Well, sometimes we buy them, but they are mixed with, with the others. with the other yeah. other Haribos. <laughs> and yeah, well, in Germany. We just have cola flaschen, yeah. a whole package, and we've never seen that here. No, I've never seen that. Maybe we missed it. I don't know. Yeah. Next thing is <laughs> food. Gewürz ketchup. So it's, it's ketchup. that's curry ketchup. Yeah. yeah. You can get curry ketchup in the UK. Of we course. found we found some, but the taste wasn't. Let's say as we use. No, that's we have curry ketchup yeah. here from 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 here from the UK, but uh, we this prefer this one. Yeah. So maybe we should try more brands. And yeah, this one is, will last for ages, yes, to be honest. Bottom. And this one, the brand is Hela. Yes, and it's a common brand, very big. Yeah. So yeah, this is but just. Yeah. We don't use it that often though. No, so that's it. why it will last forever. But I love a taste. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next thing is this one, maybe? Yeah, yogurt. Yeah. yeah you, that's you. You eat it. I don't eat it. That's you eat all kinds of chocolate. No, but I'm not into yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. Although so that's chocolate, obviously. But um the funny thing is, this one is a limited edition. We couldn't find the regular one, which no, is no. actually strawberry flavor. This one is raspberry and pomegranate. We haven't had it before. I haven't had it before. But it's it's just good because of the... It, do you remember when it came out decades ago? Yeah. And they tried to fool women and said... 
it's just a light chocolate because, yeah, because it, it's yogurt. It contains yogurt. Of course, it's it has the same amount of calories as a regular chocolate, but it tastes really, really yeah. nice. It tastes nice. I think you can get a similar product in Aldi a little now. Yeah. In the UK. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. we had it before. But, but we can't get yogurt. No, not no. the brand yogurt. It's just good. I really like it. Okay. Next On one. to the next one, yeah. Yes. Ritter Sport Rum. Yes. And I think every yeah, you can get Ritter Sport chocolate in the UK. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you can get it in the USA too. But these are Let's say kind of truffles or pralines, you can call them. I think some kind of truffles. And I'll make a little bit more. That's that packed uh, into these. And they're just... They are very nice. Jamaica rum. Yeah. It says Jamaica rum. So it's like a small praline. Mm. And you can... You can... Mm. Yeah. The funny thing is, I'm a bit of a... Contradiction, I think, yeah, <laughs> because I don't, I don't drink alcohol because I simply don't like the taste. But when it is combined with chocolate, I like it. Yeah, it's probably a sweet taste. Yes, I really like it. And this one is a childhood memory, and these are Weinbrand Bohnen. How no. would you? Describe them in English. Brandy beans. Brandy beans. Yeah. And I remember my grandmother used to have them. Yeah. 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 So they were really old style thing. Yeah. I think the younger people barely eat them. No. Yeah. No. But for us, it's a kind of childhood memory. Looks, well, they, they yeah. look like beans filled with brandy. Yeah. I just, I just like them. And as you can see, the packaging is very old-fashioned yes and i i don't think it changed mm -mm. it's quite old-fashioned and i remember when we came to the uk yeah waitrose we found some yeah but yeah. they're not but, but i think they're not selling them anymore similar ones not the same ones no not these ones but, no but brandy beans true yes next one this one maybe yes that's it yeah well, just it's, just like last year. Yeah, that's we, marzipan. From no? Lübeck. From Lübeck. I think it's the best in the world. Simply this. We just love it. I yeah. mean, Lübeck is a beautiful city. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful in the north of Germany. And we showed you some mar marzipan when we filmed the video last year. Yeah. And I hope, you know, because we really love marzipan around the, the Christmas, during the Christmas season, yes. the festive season, and you have to hide them because yeah. we saw Nida Eka at John Lewis. Yes. It's just a bit more expensive, but if you fancy it, I mean, why not get it yeah. once in a while? It's really just, tasty. It's really, really good. Yeah. This is, I think, the only French product we have. Yeah. These are mini pretzels. Yeah. Yeah, and see, just show you the difference. Yeah, in the UK and in the US, it's called pretzels with a P, and in Germany, it's a pretzel with a B. Brezel. 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 Yeah, we call them Brezel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And why didn't you buy a German brand? Or didn't you find something similar? I found something, but I was just tempted because yeah. uh, I know French bakery is good. Definitely. Yeah, and it says made in France. Yeah. So give them a chance. But you can get, weren't you at Little yesterday? Yes, I was at Little yesterday and they had some, I think they were featuring Oktoberfest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which everybody knows the biggest beer fest in Germany. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they had products related to that and one of them was some small pretzels. But we found... A while ago, we found like, um, I think, what they call pretzel sticks here yes, in the yes, UK. Yes. Pretzel sticks are, I, I'm not sure, Tesco Sainsbury's. Yeah, I think it's both. You can get Tesco yeah. Sainsbury's. And if anything, I think it's called American style pretzels. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're, but they're fine. They're good. Yeah. We like them too. Yeah. Yeah. And something else just for Jörg. Yeah, the last thing I brought with <laughs> myself. Because that's when we went to the Black Forest. Yeah? And I had to bring something with me, which is Kirschwasser, which is schnapps. Yeah. yeah? You, so, which you, you, know, you don't mix it, you drink it. Yeah, pure. And what you can also do is uh, Kirschwasser is used for a Black Forest Gateau. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. in the Black Forest Gateau. Yeah. And what we found yeah. is that we do have Black Forest Gateau where I come from as well. You can buy it. Yeah. But when you go to, to the actual Black Forest and have Black Forest Gateau, they use oh, more yeah. Kirschwasser. Yes, they use, use a lot. Yeah. If someone, well, if you... If you're a little bit drunk and come home to your wife and she would ask you, have you been drinking? No, I've had black forest cut yes. Yes. yes, That's maybe a good excuse. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, I think I've never seen Kirschwasser in any of the shops in the UK. Mm -hmm. I know you can order these ones online. Yeah, yeah but pricey. They're pricey. Yeah. yeah. That's and why I brought two bottles. It's One is Kirschwasser. And the other one is called Mirabel, which is a, a very special fruit which we have in Germany. And the brand, you should know the brand, Schladerer. Yeah. Is that Alfred? Yes. Alfred Schladerer. Yeah. And the brand Schladerer, I think, is one of the premium brands yeah, for Kirschwasser in Germany. I, I like the bottle. Yes. That looks very nice. Yes, it's an old-style bottle. Yeah. We should... We should try to make a black forest gutter. Yes. Well, it would have to be um, gluten-free flour, but we could give it a try. Yeah, my mother it. makes one, which is really delicious. Yes, yeah. that's true. Well, this was just a small selection. Um, yeah, regarding Germany and the UK, you yes. wanted to say? Yes, I think we very often get, let's say, comments that, they, that say... Why are you living in the UK? Because you're promoting all these German things and you're telling these things you're missing out of Germany. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I remember last week somebody asked me the question, um, which country is, is better? Is the UK better or is Germany better? And I simply told him it's not about being better. It's simply different. Yeah. Yeah. And there are things which... The UK does really good, and which way I believe they are better as the Germans, but there are also things where the Germans do better. Yeah. It's not about uh, being the best. No. Uh, or we, which is best. We we always talk about that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I think that's just a thing that is natural. Yeah. Every country has its pros and cons. Yeah, it has its culture. And when yeah. we go to Germany... Like when we just, when we were there, there were some things we were like shaking our heads and yeah. thinking, oh God, that's better here. But also the other way around. And well, simply put, we love both countries. Yes, we love both countries. And we, we love living in the UK. Yeah, we and love both countries. When we came home, we came home. <laughs> yeah. And the yeah. thing is, I I think because we are German and we were born in Germany and grew up there. Yeah. This is just, it's part of who we are. Yes, you're just used to these kind of things. And it's yeah. like, for example, this Rittersport Rum reminds yeah. me of my childhood. So it's a simpler, good memory. Yeah. And sometimes you just like to have these kind of memories. Oh, we are also open to the things here. Yes. And yeah. I. For example, I, yeah. <laughs> pie, mince pie oh, is for me a childhood memory. Because when my parents lived in Australia uh, and we drove uh, through the country, mm -hmm. I always got a mince pie. Yeah. So, for example, mince pie, which I can't get in Germany. No. Yeah, no. Um, which I love. Mm -hmm. yeah, is a good memory. And I, I just yesterday I said to Jörg, I have an uncle in Canada and he's originally from Hungary, but he's been living in Canada for decades so so many years but i think he just he also misses like hungarian food but he's canadian so this is just normal yes I think. so for us it's not 
which country is better? No. We no. believe we just think we're different. Yeah. And we just want to show some difference. And we love both. It's just, it, yes. this is how it is. We love yeah. both. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we hope you like this video. It's now a lot more difficult because of Brexit and a lot more expensive, yeah. unfortunately. So this is why we've brought a lot of stuff. Yes. We just had to. Yeah. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Take and care of yourself. Take care. And we'll see you again very soon. So until next time, bye. Bye-bye.